What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So we finally got gameplay of the new Pacific DLC for Battlefield 5 War in the Pacific. A lot of YouTubers were flown out to play some of this and there is some gameplay now. Uh, it's pretty long. It's like 12 minutes. I'm watching Jack Frax. Of course, he's an awesome YouTuber. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to finish the whole thing, but I want to at least see what it's going to look like because I mean just from some of the images we've already seen it really looks like they really put a lot of work into this um and yeah let's see what we have here guys all right let's get into it and one grand Welcome oh my gosh in battlefield 5 where you such can battlefield 1943 vibes for me you can also chop people up with a katana <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that thing is OP. It doesn't work as well on tanks, though. <laughs> it doesn't work, dude. That's funny. There's a flamethrower, too. Ooh, dude, look at that thing. Oh my gosh, that thing is OP. Look at that range. Ah! <laughs> That's realistic. You've got beach landings. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this. Just look at this. My gosh. Wow. What are we playing? Is this a uh, break breakthrough? Looks really, really good, man. Oh, we just mowing them down, dude. Just look at everything going on. Like you see all the planes, I mean infantry. Everything's going on. Oh my gosh, did you see that plane? Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Ooh. Wow. Dude, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Did the fish move away? Cool stuff like this. <laughs> ah! B1, baby. Oh my gosh. I just tried to kamikaze you. I think this is the uh, Pacific Storm map. Got the storm coming in. Oh my gosh. It looks great. It honestly just looks great. Wow. I cannot wait. It comes out just in a few days. Thursday. Ooh. Man, he's I'm going in. do the whole video like that. Don't worry. So welcome to the Pacific. This is gameplay footage that I captured. Is he damaging the tank? Week. It dies in Stockholm on the Pacific, which launches on the 31st of October with two maps, Iwo Jima and Pacific Storm. Oh my in gosh. December, Look at that M1 Grand, guys. We did play Wake Island, but Ooh. we weren't allowed to record it. Wake and Island. To be honest with you, it's Wake Island. It's the same layout. It just Ooh. looks really good now. You don't really need to change Dude, Wake that, Island. So that plane is stems, awesome. Iwo Jima, Breakthrough, Conquest. It is the best incarnation of Breakthrough. It's in like a whole different game. Down, this Seriously. Map really well as a Breakthrough map. And it lets you live out that beach assault landing fantasy. Oh, Whether you're attacking, geez, that's realistic. Defending. There's planes flying around everywhere. There's blown up tanks on the beach. Just look at this. Planes. Look at the action. Stuff going on in the background. This is insane. Explosions. Destroyers all the way back in the sea. It's a cool map. You, you got fire beach. going up in the air. Planes getting shot down. Area. You take that. Keep pushing forward. You go into the caves. It's like Battlefield 1. This Absolutely. is just like Crazy. Battlefield 1, it feels. You end up on top of Mount Sarabachi, Ooh. which is a volcano. Crazy. One capture point, 64 players. It's absolute bedlam, but the right kind. It's kind of fun. Whether you're in a plane and Ooh. just strafing all the Epic. there, having a great time. Ooh. Or you're on an MG or something at the top, trying to mow down the US Army. As they I can't wait to mess around with the aircraft and the tanks, dude. <sighs> Loved it in Breakthrough. This map is Pretty awesome, man. We were just Iwo Jima is so, like so cool. Getting in the Jeeps and going around as a squad with Flieger Oh, so no. That's so cool, out. man. It's great. Both of these maps now have vehicles. Just <gasps> so epic, dude. From the so epic. Iwo Jima, Look at these planes just map. getting it shot feels down. Field. It feels sandbox and the additions of the Katana and the Flamethrower Ooh. and all these new vehicles. It was just great. I had a great time on it. Pacific Storm is the other this map. Looks so so really fun. Nice, nice looking jungle. Look how paradise. beautiful this map is. By the beach. This, this map is absolutely beautiful, dude. Parasol Storm for BF4, and it does play very similar. Look at that Sherman, dude. Popping. Oh, I cannot wait. Bridges. It's a cool battlefield Ooh. sandbox style map again. Dude, this map There's is beautiful. Big storm can roll in as well. Gosh. It completely changes the level. It reduces the visibility quite a lot. 
Everything goes dark. There's lots of rain and wind. The whole atmosphere of it changes. And this can last Got a scope a on your M1. Last half a game. Look at that it camo. Seem to be random, but Pacific Storm, really cool map. I enjoyed it's pretty using sick. the boats to get between certain islands and flank people. Again, played it in Conquest and Breakthrough. Enjoyed it in both modes. I thought it was Ooh, fun. dude, these now, planes are just so epic. Using some of the new guns in this footage already. The M1 Garand is absolutely my favorite new thing in the game. And it's not just because of the ping. It's the way it feels when you shoot I it. I love the it's M1 Garand. And powerful. The reload is great on it. There's a 3% chance of a rare reload, though, where your thumb actually gets stuck. <laughs> what? In the mechanism while you're reloading it. Dude, so look out for that such detail. Someone got footage of that. But it's just Ow. such a cool looking gun. Whether you're defending or attacking, it puts out some serious damage. Now, the spec tree for the ground is interesting because the Look last at this option map, on the, the right dude. side gives you a It's like a totally to different to game, go. man. Yeah. This is Grenade insane. It does give me Paracel Storm oh, vibes, which I think the same guy who worked on that map God worked on this, but... Is, let's say, Gosh. Power Magnum round. Ooh, that M1 is so good! A more powerful ammunition type to go in the gun that will do more damage at longer distances, but you will sacrifice rate of fire. So quite an interesting choice there. I'm Amazing map. Go the right -hand side, though. The type Breakthrough on these maps the are going class. to be Pretty insane to battles. Personal. Felt like an SMG to me, to be honest. But they also get the jungle carbine, which is this baby here. One hit kill headshots. Nice action on the reload. You don't have to unscope to chamber a new round either. The support, well, they get the oh Browning gosh. machine gun. It's an MMG. In Dude, I can't stop with this map. This map is beautiful. It's quite slowly, but packs a Imagine this 4K HDR. Overheated, so pretty decent choice there. And as for the snipers, you get the Arasaka. Oh, yeah, really Arasaka. Much, to be honest, it just felt like a Ooh. nice fast firing bolt action. Looks pretty rifle, good. To be honest with you. Those are the guns that Dude, I look recorded. at this tank. I did play with other guns that I'm not allowed to show you or talk about, but there's a load more to look forward to. Absolutely insane. Way. So those new vehicles then. There's a few new planes. The Zero and the Corsair are awesome. Love these things. And in the spec trees, you can equip look a at these planes. gliding bomb, which is the thing that you can see. So much detail, man. It looks beautiful. It it beautiful, quiet, beautiful, beautiful. Going and how high insane. You are just drop to the ground and make I cannot like wait mini V1 explosion. There's some other really cool specs with the planes too. Like I can't wait for this map. Bombs. There's anti-tank mines that you can drop if you want to just litter an area with AT. There's Ooh. supply packs you can drop for your team and also a mid-air spawn beacon which is kind of unique. A mid-air spawn well, beacon. We've got the Sherman of course and this has a flamethrower. Oh there, yes dude look how cool this really looks. Got the other amphibious oh my too. gosh it looks so good. Oh. The dice have really gone to town with Ooh. these specializations on these new tanks and planes and there's now three columns and six rows so there's a ton more choice and you can really that's insane look at all these choices specific fashions this is more than even the base game tank, a bit of a mix so vehicle players will really enjoy these insane of course you can't play with these tanks and planes look how beautiful this looks books, man i really hope that insane give the existing immersion tanks and planes a do over and add more choice to the spec trees because i just think they deserve it now there's also this little camera that I found. Now, this was in camera. the build of the game that I played back in June at EA Play. It was on the Marita map, and then it was removed for some reason. But hmm. I was just looking around in the cave here, and I found it on the floor, picked it up. You can take some pictures with <laughs> it. It's got different filters. If you do take pictures, they appear on PC in your My Documents Battlefield folder. That's really I cool. I assume that if you're playing on console, they will just get saved to your screenshot folder or something like that. I also found this tiny red house, and apparently this is one of the guys that dies. Whichever maps that he works on, he will put one of these little red houses in. And I think we've seen these in BF1 maps and also on Aras in BF5. They've completely redesigned the company system. Wow. So, as you can see, you've got all totally different, different dude. And factions there. Look at that. The total US total revamp. Actually, a different faction than Axis and Allies, which is good. There's a ton of new cosmetics here too, new character models. You can have lots of different hairstyles now. So I know a lot of people have been asking for that. Some cool new weapon skins too. You can inspect nice, weapons nice. too if you were paying attention oh, yeah. to the start of the video. Oh, That's what I did. So cool. Garand. And they've changed the main menu screen. We get US soldier 
as you load up the game. And it's all orange. Oh my gosh, Very dude, nice. look how beautiful that Family screen is, that menu screen. That's what I wanted from the initial reveal. I was expecting to see like some cool Pacific soldier moving in on the beaches for the cover. We didn't get that, but now we have it. That's awesome, dude. Could just be some art dressing for the level though. We'll have to wait and see. Overall, though, I have to say, I really enjoyed my time with these three maps. Ooh. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you any Wake Island, but it's unfinished still, and they didn't want us to record. But Iwo Jima, beautiful map. Absolutely love it. Plays great. I forgot to mention there's giant cannons on it, too, which Ooh. are really good fun. Pacific Storm, another great Battlefield map. I think Ooh. this release is Cannot wait. a good thing for Battlefield. It's a home run for DICE, at least. There's a ton of new stuff in here, Dude, new gadgets and toys this to play map, with. We didn't get beautiful. to play with the lunge mine, unfortunately, which we saw in the trailer. I'm sure that'll come at some point in Tides of War. But it feels sandbox. It feels Battlefield again. And it finally looks like World War II. Finally. A new patch as well, which has just gone live, I think. has got a load of quality of life fixes in it too so onwards and upwards with that said i hope there's more to come in the pacific and for the next year in battlefield and i want to see oh the boats go through that checklist yes. of world war ii's greatest so hits, awesome. all those iconic moments that we know and deliver them in a similar fashion to this because the level of quality here from what i played at this capture event is high it feels polished it feels like they've been working yeah. on this for they a did a time. real good job with it's the quality with this release forever, guys so i'm just going to leave it there and just a reminder for you guys if anyone wants to pick up the gold phantom t-shirt design that i released a few weeks ago this one's all right and it's only <laughs> all right guys that was some gameplay from Jack Frags, some really cool gameplay. Uh, and man, I am deeply impressed and beyond excited for this. Like I said, if you guys saw my first uh, initial impressions when I saw the reveal trailer, I was I was thinking that maybe we would see like Pacific stuff, like because you know other games focus on the European theater and we haven't seen too much of you know the pacific so i thought we would get that reveal and it would be that but we didn't get that sadly but now we do we have the cool picture of the guy moving in on the cover you know in the pacific looks so epic maps beautiful everything that i'm getting from looking at the gameplay and the trailer everything it looks like Battlefield 1 style of immersion. Yeah, sure, you still have women and people are debating the the elites, you know. It looks like they might change that if more people talk about that. Um, so we'll see what happens. There are a few little things that are going to keep this from being the ultimate immersion. It's always going to be that way, sadly, because of the way Battlefield 5 is. You know, the introduction of women and, and some of the um, elites in there. That could change, but the women's not going to change. So it's never, it's never going to be that full immersion that we could have got. But it's this is I think this is the closest that they could have got. I mean, this is the best that they could ever really do, I think. This is really, really good stuff, even though Battlefield Five has had those hiccups uh, with you know, its own identity. I think this is definitely the step in the right direction, guys. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go down, leave a like. Let me know what you thought about this down below. Are you guys excited? I know I am. Let me know down below. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.